Hi everyone, I'm Chris, the Aquarius Traveller. Make sure you subscribe for your worldwide travel content and inspiration. It was a very long drive from Cobalt to Hewenden, almost seven hours. But what was harder was being on a lot less sealed roads and having to drive slower. There wasn't a lot of traffic around in this area, so I guess that made it a little bit easier. We used the opportunity to get the drone up again and get some more footage of the surrounding bushland and show you what it's like in outback Queensland. There were still a lot of trees around, which meant we were always on the lookout for wildlife and some larger birds. We ended up running into some black cockatoos, which I haven't been able to see for a very long time. As well as some more eagles. My 150mm travel lens certainly does come in handy to try and capture some of these beautiful birds. As we were coming into the Huonan area, the dirt started getting lighter and a lot more dust around. We were still seeing some termite mounds, but not as many as in the last video. There were also still a few more cows roaming around and a couple of water beds. Looks like some people use these areas for some remote camping. Porcupine Gorge lookout was very easy to get to and only a five minute walk from the car park. But you will have to get back in the car and drive another 10 minutes down the road before getting to the pyramid walking track into the gorge. Once again, this is a dry season and not much water in the gorge itself. I think I would like to see this area again in low light early morning or late afternoon and see how much water actually flows right through it in the wet season. So that was the pyramid, sorry, no, that was the Porcupine Gorge lookout. From the parking, it's only about a five minute walk. It's actually a really, really good view. So if you can't make it down to the pyramid track and do the kilometer into the gorge, it's actually a really good view. Um, you don't see the pyramid though. It's on the other side. So, um, but anyway, really nice view. Back into the car we go to head off to the walking track into the gorge. Only a short drive into the national park until we get to the camping spot with a day use area. Check out how the car looks with all these dirt road driving. The one thing you will get to in the outback is all that dust. The wheel cover is normally black and still gets through inside the car. So we've just started off on the pyramid track. There's two different spots to park at for the lookout and the track. And it seems uh, the track is where there's a campground here. I'm not sure how much it actually costs to uh, say here, but um, they have a day use area with uh, some bathrooms and stuff like that before you head off on your trek. So it's in the middle of the day. So we've 
got lots of sunscreen on and uh, we're off on our hike to see the gorge. Apparently there's not much um, water in it though, so we'll see what happens when we get there. Okay. It's not a very long track. As mentioned before, this gorge doesn't have a lot of shade and it's not the best to do in the middle of the day. Our timing to visit wasn't that easy to get around, so if you do complete it in the middle of the day, make sure you take plenty of water with you. So we are finding that it's a very rocky track going down. It's uh, quite a quick journey going down. And uh, definitely, well, we're here at the peak of the day, so, and there's not a lot of shade here. So make sure you're wearing your hat and sunscreen and a good pair of walking shoes. This is not the kind of track that I'd probably do in uh, thongs or flip flops. So, but um, I'm expecting that it'll only take about 20 minutes to get down. Still going down, but um, we're getting a very good view of the gorge right about now. Porcupine Gorge extends for about 25 kilometres and has sandstone cliffs that will have been carved out from the landscape by the eroding water. This water has also created the pyramid, which is a multicoloured sandstone sculpture rising from the floor of the gorge, shaped like a beautiful pyramid of Egypt. In winter, the base of the gorge is a series of water holes, while in the wet season, it becomes a raging cascade, which has excavated the deep chasm. The water was a little stagnant today, but this is known as a popular swimming spot. It was definitely warm enough for it, and there was a couple of people around intending on taking a dip. As we still had to get to Hewan in, uh, in the afternoon, we decided to give it a miss. The locals call this Little Grand Canyon and even has a yearly 8 kilometer race challenge where hundreds of people come out to participate, even a shorter distance for the kids. You might want to check that out at the local tourist info for details on this one. little bit just took us about 30 minutes to climb back up again so we stopped in the shade probably about four times for a couple of minutes 
so it actually didn't take too long to walk back up again so if you're physically fit probably an hour return is a good break but um, if you take a little longer you might need the hour and a half so anyway I'm signing out because I'm hot and I need a drink <laughs> what about you Matt yep, yep. <laughs> okay see you next time so that ends today my tour of porcupine gorge I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please don't hesitate in putting them in the comments below and if you like the video please give us a thumbs up check out the rest of the playlist for the Queensland road trip and I will see you again for the next video see you later